So my name is Anthony Genot, I'm a writer of Nightcall. And I'm Laurent Victorino, I'm the project leader of Nightcall. Uh, so how long have you guys been working on Nightcall for? Uh, too long, probably. Uh, we started thinking about that game at, in early 2016 and started working with Raw Fury seriously on 2017 and now we are almost done with the game and we plan to, to release it pretty soon. You know, one thing I noticed in my playthrough just now is that there's a there's definitely a sense of humor uh, into the game. Uh, is this a very is this something that you feel kind of? Uh, you told me to act more French during my playthrough. Is this something where it's really about the French sense of humor? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think what we really want to do is something that is uh, dark and weird and funny and different from what you used to what what you used to play and see in games. I think it's not every day that people are able to play something French. I don't know if the game is that French, but it's it's something that is different. Well, you, know, you are driving on the streets of Paris in a cab. Yeah, yeah. But the the, the good thing with Paris is that it's the most visited uh, place of the, the the planet. So, in Paris, you can meet French people, of course, but it's kind of a hub with a lot of people coming from other countries. So we can tell story stories about France, about the Europe but also about the world. So it's a pretty good place. You're absolutely right. It's a cosmopolitan place. You can hear all sorts of languages on the streets of uh, Paris. And uh, you've really gone an extra uh, layer with the map and how, uh, how you've recreated the streets, right? I think that uh, well, you should answer the question. Yeah, but, so the, yeah. The, the, the map is actually the real map of Paris. It's more than 100 uh, square kilometers, so it's huge probably too big uh, so we we have been able to put a lot of stories in that so. and one thing I noticed is uh, there's there's a money mechanic you have to you have to make money and to have a living there's also gasoline that you have to be mindful of and there's also time how do you balance those things to make the gameplay loop uh, enjoyable uh, actually, what we really want to do is to have a different uh, level of difficulties. We want uh, we want to have like a story mode where players could just enjoy the story and not think too much about management and things like that. And we have also like a regular, like a balanced mode and a really hard mode where our players are going to be to be extremely, extremely precious with their time and money. Um, most of it, I think it's um, it's uh, it's not a it's not the main part, the main feature of the game. But we really want to create a sense of uh, of suspense and, and and time. Like it's time is ticking out, money is is running out, and then you have to be uh, precise and make the right decisions. And also, the beginning of the game. I'm hoping I'm, this isn't a big spoiler, but you've been a victim of an attack, and there's a there's a serial killer on the streets of Paris. Uh, what other uh, murder stories did you maybe look to? For inspiration for your your narrative, uh, I'm a big fan of games like uh, Ellen Noir. This is something that was really really important for us. Uh, when we started to work, I think our first idea was that the main character was not gonna be Sherlock Holmes. He's not a superhero. He's not a cop. He's not Batman, as you as you have seen in the, in the text. He's just, a, in a way, a, a taxi driver that has to investigate, and he has only very limited uh, skills. And we want to. We don't want to turn the player into a, a superhero. We want to uh, have a like an invest. How how you and me could be investigators? How could we search and? Uh, and uh, what engine is this running on? It's Unity. Unity, yeah. And uh, so, do you have a release date or a release window? And then also, uh, what platforms are you shooting to release it on? The the the, the official release date is during summer. So we don't have more than that. And about the platforms, it's coming on, on PC and console. Uh, we already announced uh, the game on Switch. Uh, so it will be on Switch and probably also on mobile. So. Awesome, because you know, I, th I really think a game like this would do well with touch-based input. Yeah, uh, yeah I actually I think the, the pacing of the game is, is, um, is in such a way that people can enjoy it in like short bursts. They can play for 10, 15 minutes. Uh, like um, a night could be like maybe 30 to 45 minutes. So you can play just a night every night and then uh, you can finish the game in a week. And it's, uh, it's like, a, for us, we really want to make like a, like a really cool book that you want to really want to go back every night. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.